us a day. Oh, so I'm going to do the entire motorcycle vlog in a Cockney accent. Or just like Dick Van Dyke in the venerable children's classic Mary Poppins. No, I'm not going to do that. Really, please keep watching. I can already hear the mouse clicks. Uh, I wonder what Freddy's cat's doing today on YouTube. No. Oh, I can't see. I gotta lift up. My glasses keep fogging up here. Sorry if there's wind noise. I have to lift up my visor. No, today I'm uh, riding around Grass Valley. Gold country. There's gold in them now here's. Oh man. Sorry, I'm a moron. I'm just a really a doofus today. Of course, saying that is probably a defense mechanism put up to fend off the emotional Slings and arrows against the soul uh, from broadcasting the psyche to the word through the social networking media. Listen, I do hope you've enjoyed today's pendentic interlude. <laughs> okay, really, uh, today's ride takes us to the heart of gold country, Grass Valley, California. And, uh, Grass Valley gets its name from the early settlers who, uh, after their long trek over the Sierra Nevada mountains, would um, stop in the grassy plains here in the foothills to rest their livestock and recover. And um, legend has it that uh, gold digger passing through uh, bumped his toe on a piece of quartz sticking out of the ground. He probably said, Ow! <laughs> no. Now here we are in the Empire Mine. Um, State Park. This is um, one of the largest, most productive gold mines in all of California. And uh, of course, uh, what Grass Valley is known for. Um, in the early 1850s, gold mining sprouted up here. In fact, there are, I believe, nine mines in the area. And uh, the town of Grass Valley was the main supply post for those mines. And Mostly uh, Cornish settled the area. Cornish miners, they had the techniques uh, to mine the underground ore, which uh, I guess they brought with them from the native corny land. They've also brought with them my favorite kind of humor, I guess. Uh, no, seriously, I believe they call it Cornwall, England. 
but there were also, uh, I'm sure, Irish workers, Asian, many Italians settled here. But I believe they uh, outsourced their tech support to Bangladesh. <laughs> well, uh, mining flourished here for around 100 years. I guess I should turn off my turn signal. And uh, until around the 1950s, so from the 1850s to about the 1950s, I believe uh, the last mine closed down. And uh, of course, uh, the area became a little depressed at that point um, until some tech industry moved in. I believe there was an engineer who based his business here, um, making amplifiers for the television broadcast industry. His name was Dr. Hare, and uh, of course many of the natives, uh, Cornish, uh, they would greet him. Eh, what's up, Doc? I don't think he cared for it too much. Oh, those cool cars. And um, really, the town today, since about the early 80s, uh, is basically a tourist town and uh, thriving retail industry, I believe uh, a large branch of their government is an offshoot of the Chamber of Commerce called the Grass Valley Retail Association. And um, in just a second, we are going to reach Old Town, and we'll take a little cruise through the Old Town, Grass Valley, and uh, I'll try to keep the commentary to a minimum so you can soak in the Old Town. I was talking about Dick Van Dyke earlier. Interesting that he is still apologizing for that accent. I saw him on a talk show a few weeks ago, and his excuse is that he, uh, his vocal coach for the movie was uh, Irish. <laughs> I think that was Kevin Costner's excuse for Robin Hood as well. Anyway, we are basically in uh, Old Town, Grass Valley at the moment. We will go down uh, Main Street here. Okay, my legs are cramping up a little bit. It's kind of chilly today. Stretching my legs here. You can't see this on the video, but feels good to stretch my legs out forward a bit. Okay. This appears to be the downtown area, Grass Valley. Well, I've seen a, quite a few bikers through here. Must be a common pit stop. A lot of nice riding, of course, in the foothills, the surrounding area. Uh, 
which I hope to do in the future. Maybe make some future vlogs. Anyway, that's it. Until uh, next time, a bientôt. Au revoir. We'll see you later. Tschüss. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye-bye. So you've just seen the latest episode of Smith Fam TV's motorcycle vlog. What did you think? Oh my gosh! I laughed, I cried, it was truly a cathartic experience.